Hi YouTube. Today we're looking at getting started with the timer script for OBS. If you followed along from the previous video, you should be familiar with the steps to importing the script into OBS. If you've not seen the previous video and do not know how to import a script into OBS, then I highly recommend you have a look at that video. I will leave a link in the description below. Let's get started with setting up a timer in OBS. To set up the timer, we need to head over to the UI for the scripts and that we can find under tools and scripts. And that will open up the loaded scripts index. And here you will see all the scripts that's currently loaded into OBS. In this video, we will be working with a version five of the advanced timer. If you are not using version five and you have an older version, I highly recommend you load the newest version available. It may be possible that you may be viewing this video when there's a newer version available, but the script UI should look similar. The best place to go and see if there are any new versions available would be in the OBS forums under the updates tab or the discussion tab. If this is the first time you're using the script, then your properties should look similar to this, what you're seeing on the screen here. If yours looks a little bit different and you are using the same version, then it's probably because you've already changed some of the settings. You can reset this form to the default state. However, if you do that, you should know that all your settings will be erased and all the settings will be reverted to the script defaults. To reset to defaults, you head on over to the defaults button on the bottom of the form. And if you click that, it will revert all the settings to the script defaults. In the default state, the timer mode is set to count up. You can change this from count up to count down. However, in this video, we will be discussing the count up mode. The next step is to change the layout from basic to advanced. And once you make that selection, you will notice that new settings become available. And the next one we want to work with is timer settings and we want to change it from hidden to expanded. When you make that selection, you will notice that even further settings becomes available. Now at this stage, you might be thinking, well, why do I have to click on so many different settings just to get where I want to be? It all feels so unintuitive. The reason why is because this plugin offers a wide range of configurability. That means that there are a ton of properties available that can be changed. Now, if they were all displayed at the same time, then it would have been very overwhelming and confusing. To mitigate this, this plugin was designed to show certain properties that is required and hide some that may not be needed. The next step to set up the timer will be to assign a text type source to the timer. Now, if we see the timer source, it shows select. And if you click on that, well, you will see there's nothing there. The reason why this is happening is because we don't have any text sources available. Let's go ahead and create a new text source for the timer. To do that, we are going to click on the plus icon and select a text GDI from the list. Once you select that, it will open up the prompt where we can define the new text source name. I'm just going to call it timer one and hit OK. 
this will open up the text source properties panel and this is where you can change the look and feel of your font style and a lot of different things to make it look unique and for the purpose of this video i'm just going to change the font size to something that will work for the purpose of this video don't worry too much about the text contents because the script will change this later i'm just going to call this timer for now and there we can see the new timer text source now if we head over back to tools and scripts and go to the timer source and click on select well it's still not there and the reason for that is the script hasn't registered that a new text source has become available and to get it to register we just need to click on the reload or refresh button yeah and once you've done that and you go back to timer source and you click on that well now the timer text source is available let's select that once you select it you will notice there's a whole range of new properties that are available amongst the new available properties you will find the start countdown timer or rather start count up timer and reset count up timer now if we can demonstrate how that works you will notice here that the moment that you've selected the timer source it is formatted the timer text to what it should be let's start by activating the timer by clicking the start timer button and if we click it you can see it starts while the timer is running if you click the start button again it will pause the timer if you click it again then the timer starts from where it was paused and if you hit the reset timer it brings it back to zero the timer can also be activated by hotkey and to show you that i'm going to close out in this form and we're going to go to the obs menu settings and click on file settings and then you'll see in this tab here on the left you're going to click on hotkeys now it may be that your version of obs with all of your different scenes and things will have a whole range of settings here so the easiest way to get it is just to put in stopwatch it will be the name of the script and they will find all the hotkeys now let's set up a couple of hotkeys for reset timer i'm just going to say control 2 and for start timer i'm just say control 1 and click on apply and okay now to activate the timer i press control 1 to start it control 1 again to pause it control 1 again to make it continue from this position and control 1 again to pause it control 2 to reset 1 to start and while it's running i can just press reset and it will reset it back let's create two more timers and duplicate the script and see how it runs with the same script duplicated and used two more times to do this i'm going to create some timer text sources call this timer 2 okay set the font size to 125 enter placeholder text timer and we can just going to position that let's position it below this first one and create another text source for the third one Make the font 125 and put in timer text placeholder. 
and I'm going to put that below the other one. Let's go and add more scripts. Go to Tools, Scripts, and then the plus button. Click on the script you want to duplicate. Press Control, left click and drag. Let go of left click, and it duplicates the script. And we're going to duplicate it again using a different technique with the script highlighted or selected. Press Control C and then Control V. And let's rename this. Right click, rename. Timer 2. Right click, rename. Timer 3. Let's select timer 2 and open it up and do it again for the other one. Timer 3. Let's configure these two quick. Select timer 2, layout basic to advanced, timer settings hidden to expanded, timer text. Let's select number 2, that's for that one there, and select text, timer text number 3. Advanced, expand it, and select the third one. And close it out. And there we have all three of those timers ready. We just need to assign the hotkeys. To do that, we'll go to File, Settings, Hotkeys. In the filter, let's put a script name, Stopwatch. And we want to say, we want to configure the hotkey for reset for timer number two. And the reset should be control four. And the start should be control three. And for reset stopwatch number three, we should have control six and to start at control five. That should set Control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's demonstrate their work. I'm going to fire up a timer number 1 with Control 1, timer number 2 with Control 3, and a timer number 3 with Control 5. Pause 1, pause 2, pause 3. Start 1, start 2, start 3. Reset 3, reset 1, I'm in 2, and reset 1. And there you go. And that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we will dive into advanced settings for the script. If you have any questions or need support with the script, you're welcome to reach out to me in the forums. I will leave a link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. It is free and it will help to grow the community. I would love to hear from you, so come and say hi in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.